Hi guys, so I'm going to do an updated foundation routine for you today and um, yeah, I was going to do a summer, summer foundation routine but we kind of have no summer, mm. so yeah. Coolsies! So I'm just going to get started, have my um, Eye primer, it's just the Too Faced Shadow Insurance that I've depotted. So there's still tons of it in the tube, but I just couldn't get to it. This is the Revlon Smoky Shadow Stick in Torch, and I'm going to take the pink shimmer E side. These stuff, these things are great. I've been using mine ever since I bought it. Pretty much every day. I'm gonna take my Makeup Academy shadow in number seventeen. Just an Elf C shadow brush and. Press this in as a highlight. Seems like I seem to be slouching. Take the camera down a bit. I'm gonna take my Revlon crease brush and taupe from NYX. I'm just gonna put this in my crease. And then just with a regular shadow brush from the Naked Palette, I'm just going to take Sin. And just press this where we put the Revlon cream stick. I mean, these cream sticks are really good. It's the first um, kind of pencil, like shadow stick that I've ever used that hasn't really creased. Like even with the jumbo sticks from NYX, if I put even if I put shadow over them, they'll still crease eventually. Whereas um, this pencil, where did it go? How spells I've gone and lost it. Oh well. Anyways. With that pencil stick, I could fall asleep with this, wake up in the morning, and it's still... Yeah, the colour's faded a bit, but it hasn't creased. It's incredibles. Next, I'm going to um, do my face before I finish my eyes. I just do my eyes first so I don't get, like, shimmer all over my foundation. Just using the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. Just put a little bit on the back of my hand. And just gonna take the L'Oreal Magi Lumi primer, just about half a pump of that. And mix it up with my foundation brush. And I always start from the center of my face and work my way out. That's where most of my blemishes and stuff is, is down the center.
and the reason I mix the Maggi Lumi in is because this is a um, matte finish foundation and sometimes it can get a little too dry looking once it sets in. And for a touch of concealer, I'm using the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection it has a hair on the thing. Get that away. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk into the inner corner. And just kind of blend that in. Just take the e.l.f. C brush and take Virgin from the Naked palette. Press that in for eye brightening effect. Next I'm going to take this small angle brush, this is just a cheapy one from Poundland, but it works for what I want it for. Um, I'm just going to take Creep from the Nikkei palette and I'm going to use this as my eyeliner. This is probably the only use I've ever found for this eyeshadow. I only use this in the outer portion of the eyes. As Tom Pichot says, it's not about framing the eyes, it's about enhancing them. I paraphrase. He had a very sexy French accent. And for a quick inner eyeliner, I have the um, long lasting liner from Luke Beauty. And this is in. This is just called Eye Brightener, I believe. Now time for mascara. And I'm going to use a sample of the YSL Fossil Shocking because that's what rolled out of my bag. So <laughs> just use that. I know a lot of people complain about this mascara drying out and whatever, but I'd love to know what they do with the tube because this is like the wettest formula of mascara I've used since Lash Stiletto, I think. So yeah. Just quick 
quickly do my brows. This is the Gosh Brow Pen that I've been using for a while. And this is in hazel, I think. No, wheat. Wheat. Will Wheaton. <laughs> For the lips, I've got Subculture Lip Liner. Which does desperately need a sharpen. Spotlight Beige. I apologize for using a discontinued color, but... I love it so much. If you love it, like, as much as I do, I'd get your behind on eBay and scoop up as many tubes of it as you can. I personally have like six backups of this tube. I'm never running out with this lipstick ever. And lastly for highlight and blush, I have the MAC Cream Color Base and the e.l.f. Blush Brush. I mean, I use these brushes for um, like cream brush and stuff all the time, and I just never clicked to use it for a cream color base before. And you can use the. Um, Honey bronze down the body shop. make sure it's blended properly. And bada boom, that is my face for work. I know it seems like a lot, but you know. It needs to stay on all day. And I will probably reapply the blush throughout the day and uh, I take my uh, collection concealer with me because as a glasses wearer, anyone who's a glasses wearer will know, you know, it like bunches under the nose piece. Um, wipe it off with a tissue and just reapply some of this concealer and it'll just blend in with your foundation. Good tip. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any requests, feel free to comment in the comment section, obviously. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye!